Okay. You're, you're live. So what we're doing right now is we're having an introductory meeting about a new show that Sean wants to do. Now, uh, Dr. Sean and I have been friends for almost a decade, I think. Yes? 2011, so what's the eight years? Yes. Yeah. And the reason why he's so uh, big, it's all <laughs> natural. It's all natural. Go ahead, sh give us, show us the gun. You know, normally I close out the production by saying goodbye, goodbye. But no, hello, hello, to you guys. Welcome to Facebook Live. Jeff would put me on the spot like that. You know, go figure. Uh, so, if you're a fan of wrestling, uh, Sean was a big name in what what era? Uh, it would be considered the Attitude Era. It was a very uh, unique era uh, that I didn't realize how big it would be looked upon. Fast forward to now, people really embrace that. Uh, it's called the Attitude Era. Okay, name some of the name drop a little bit. Who? who oh, do you I don't know. Guys with? like Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Have you ever heard of him? Yes. Um, Hulk Hogan, Stone Cold Steve Austin. In fact, if I remember um, right, you beat The Rock, didn't you? No, well, Four or five now times. now we're pushing. A little bit. <laughs> look, it, look in wrestling, it, it's 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 choreographed, right? In real life, though, I I'd, I'd lay the smack down on The Rock. Dwayne, if you're out there, you know I love you, brother. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to show Sean his options of studios. And, awesome. Uh, and we're going to let him pick. I decided to leave the glasses off. <laughs> so this is uh, Dr. Sean. Um, Hello. The, the reason Hello? he's so big <laughs> is, look, I want you to see this. Make it, show, it's, show the it's, it's because I have my lifts on today. Uh. <laughs> uh, it's all an illusion, really. Uh, so he, a uh, former professional wrestler turned chiropractor. Very um, cool. About cool. To yeah. About to start his own show. Mm -hmm. uh, he's coming up with a name. I want to spring it on you. What do you got? Well, it's uh, Dr. Sean's Corner. Um, I'm, I'm, it's been playing in my mind. Or you had mentioned something about a real talk with Dr. Sean. Or I like Out of the Ring. Out of the ring, but right. I, I'm trying to combine a couple, and I think it's just gets too wordy. I like Dr. Sean's corner. That's what's really, yeah, you know, kind of like hanging it. in my mind. All right, now Matt here is a big wrestling fan. It's true, uh, yeah, and uh, and when I saw uh, you and Matt interact, it instantly made me think about that era of wrestling that uh, so many of us remember. Sure, but you got new wrestlers, and and uh, I think. Nobody is really talking to that era of wrestlers, that, that era from the 90s, 2000s. What happened to these guys? And they, uh, we, we looked online. There's a dozen podcasts, maybe more, mm -hmm. that go out to wrestling fans. But most of them are programming to contemporary wrestlers, are they right. not? Well, there, there's quite a few podcasts out there, uh, you know. And, and so it seems like it's, it's, the topic is wrestling. But what I think that I can bring to the table is something a little unique and dynamic that no one else is doing. And I say that in all humbleness, yeah. uh, just because of the journey I've taken after wrestling, becoming uh, a chiropractor, you know, living in a different world, and I guess in the real world, whatever that means. But um, I want to bring, with my show, the concept and the idea, and this is just an extension of my authenticity and me, and that is just being as real and transparent as possible. It's really all about... Uh, taking the, the existing demographic in wrestling right. and bringing them, introducing them into what I have learned through my, my years of uh, going okay. through life. Okay, by the way, real quick, guys, I want to show you one thing. I signed this for Matt. Oh, that's good. Hey, these are still, I still sell these guys, so hey, remember. Matt. I appreciate Dr. it. Dr. Sean, 008. That's, awesome. that's neat. That, needs to, that, 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 that needs to hang up in your, in your cubicle down there. Yeah. Um, okay, so it's Chris Gamberry over there. Oh, nice. I want, you to, I want you to feel comfortable here because this could be your new home. Okay. Um, sit, sit right here. Um, let's see if we can get Matt to uh, put you up on the big screen. I like that backdrop. That's all. In fact, I have that picture I've used on my Facebook uh, wall. You know, the um, the backdrop, screen drop. So what I love about this studio is it looks like TV. So I've always been calling it uh, podcasting or radio. What would you know about TV? <laughs> so I did, I did TV for 25 years. And when we built this studio and I saw the network lighting that we put up, um, I said, this isn't 
podcasting. This is not radio. This is television. So this studio has, I think, a unique look. And we're going to about to. So look at how good you look on TV. Um, well, Jeff sure makes me feel good. How good I look on TV. Right. I mean, that no, it is great. Yeah, it's network lighting. lighting. And that big screen behind you can become a Skype call. So let's suppose you were interviewing The Rock, you could. Uh, talk to the camera this this would be your primary camera and then you could say joining us from Atlanta is uh, Dwayne the Rock sure uh, Dwayne talk let's talk about your next film right <laughs> <laughs> what film are you not in right so they put up the Dallas skyline it's just kind of a default but I think the studio looks great you have people walking by when they cut to the camera with with me on it you have people walking by you can actually see people walking by the lake back there sure it has a really major market feel to it yeah I like it but let's go downstairs Awesome. Getting the grand tour, I see. Right. Oh, I love this, too. Look at this. Ta-da. Welcome to Dallas, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're supposed to say, welcome to Dallas, Texas. Here, let's do that again. Yeah. Take two. All right. Watch this. Welcome. <laughs> to Dallas, Texas. <laughs> that was cheesy. You're a showman. You're a showman. You can't help it. I can't help it, Jeff. That's right. You're born to do this. I can't contain myself. Right. And I get around you and we get a camera going and it's like, ah, uh, show's on. Okay. All right, so for those of you who've never been to our studios, we have upstairs and we have downstairs. So downstairs is another three studios uh, that you're welcome to use as a podcast client. You may have a guest where you say, you know, this feels like it should be a little bit more intimate. Sure. Maybe I don't want to interview them in the television studio. Maybe I want to interview them in something that looks like radio. Right. Um, so that's downstairs. We have those options as well. Okay. Let me ask you this. Yeah. What if you start with one studio? Do people ever move, these clients move around? All the time. For different episodes? You All the time. So, uh, oh, I love this room here. This is the first test drive that I had uh, when, I, when I visited a few weeks ago. So we won't, we won't bother to you, but um, you can see the unique lighting. So if it blues your color, we make it walls blue. You can make it green. You yeah. can make it red. You can make it any color you want. You have all these cameras. There's even a camera um, on the producer. I don't think it's punched up right now. But it allows you, let's suppose Matt was your producer. Matt loves wrestling anyway. Right. He may want to jump in on the show and say, hey, oh, Sh Sean, hold on. You're going too fast. Let, uh, sure. Let me ask you a question about, you know, fighting the rock. What was that like? Right. And he becomes a part of your show as sure. a fan, right? Okay. Let's go next door. I like this color here, too. It's phobia blue. Sometimes uh, guests will come in, they'll do their show in there, and a green screen, if anybody's watched the news, you see the weather guy pointing. He's pointing to a green screen, and they put a weather map up. But that's, this could be the Dallas skyline. It could be sure. a, a, you know, a wrestling ring. And this little bad boy right here is a teleprompter. So if you had written something, we put it on the teleprompter. That's how small it is. And you can actually read kind of like your final thought. You're a tall guy, so we'd probably boost this thing up a little bit. Sure. But it allows you to talk right into the camera and um, talk directly to your viewer. This we have just because it's cool. That is pretty cool. But I'll tell you what's not cool is I don't need that teleprompter because it's all in the chip, guys. I've got a good memory. It's all in the chip. I won't need that teleprompter. I say that now. Right. Microphone right, testing. I don't know how to work our own gels. Sir, do you know how to punch the gels? Right, right now it's pink. I think the show we had in this down. morning is kind of like a feminine show. Hit it. This. Uh, Sit down. Yeah, hit it. These drapes go up and down. I don't know. Actually, we have to work our own stuff, but trust me, that goes, <laughs> that goes up and down. <laughs> Mr. Curley, have a seat. Welcome to another episode of Ask Dr. Sean's Corner. Today, I want to talk about your career as a journalist. For many years, you were uh, with Channel Four. Four. I was going to say eight, but you know, you see how I had led you into that? I, I act like I knew, but I really didn't know, and right. I prompted you to say it. <laughs> see? You're a natural host. 
it does it just I love it. In, I love right? this. I love this stuff. I love the energy. This, love becomes, all these rooms. this becomes a Skype team thing too. So you could you could have a couple of people in studio and say, "Hey, joining us from Miami is a uh, former WWE champ Joe Blow." And That's great. And, and so basically, you could interview anybody really anywhere in the world as long as they have a an iPhone or a smartphone yep. and. Yep. You know, of course, if you have a chance to get them in the studio, I would imagine that's probably what you would prefer to have uh, as a guest, right? Yep. But uh, just with people's schedules and, and yep. time availability, we I imagine get a lot of. Let me show you what we're putting. In, we're putting in now, so we're on, we're always kind of working on the business, uh, reinventing the business. So we just got a. Um, you know the, the the makeup mirrors that you see with the Hollywood bulbs. Yeah, my wife said the Hollywood balls are kind of old-fashioned. This kind, this is this lights up. So we're we're gonna put this in tomorrow morning. This will be a makeup mirror. We're gonna probably turn this into like a changing room nice. because sometimes people will come in and they'll do like five or six shows back to back to back. Sure, they don't want to show up in the same outfit every day. Right. So uh, we've been sending them to the public bathroom in the building, <laughs> and it'd be much nicer to have a couch in here. Yeah. Uh, maybe a wet bar. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> a coffee machine. Uh, and a place sure. to do hair and makeup, and so that's that's I'm always. And so, would you still have the old-fashioned balls on the mirror? Well, so I, I, I think, think you need to bring that back. Just you think so? For, well, yeah, just for old school. I mean, you gotta embrace, you know, that's that's the original. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta keep that <laughs> authenticity maybe, around. Maybe, maybe, maybe we have both. Yeah. Uh, then we said this becomes our little green room here where uh, people can uh, have a Perrier water. We really upped our snack game, so you peach Perrier, so your, your guests are, you know, glass of wine. Um, Where's the tequila? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. we did have a vodka guy in here well, the other day. You know, Tito's vodka or something, but sometimes right? you gotta relax before your show comes on. You have know? to have a margarita machine. Right. There what if go. we replace this with a margarita machine? Cinco, that that Cinco de Mayo is just right around the corner, right. so. Yeah. And, uh, and you can see our kind of a wall of fame. Nice. Our, young, our youngest podcaster is seven years old. Oh really? Wow. Yeah, he That's he interviews uh, celebrities. Uh, it's okay. called Celebrity Interviews with Milk and Cookies, starring Loriston Crockett the Fourth. And and by the way, I met uh, the man who played. Now here's a question: yeah. the man who played Bar Barney. Barney. Yes. Was it the gentleman I met here a couple weeks ago? I think it was. When I just stopped by real quick, I had a yeah, chance yeah, to have yeah, a tour yeah, like yeah, that yeah. we're having today. But I mean, uh, because there was I had a little uh, not an argument but a debate about who played Barney, and so there was there's. This is not the same guy that I was text a picture of somebody different, but I um, maybe they both played him. Um, they were three Barneys, I think. Okay. So he was the second Barney and played it the longest. Oh, 20, I see. Twenty-two years. Okay. Um, and Selena Gomez and Demi Lovato were both child stars on yeah. his show, and both uh, we're hoping to get them on his show at some point. Okay. I, I'm glad you like the studio, so you can see this is what it looks like when this is a, a finished version. This was uh, this is a very famous auctioneer who has a show and. And he's had stars on his show. Um, is this from this studio right here? Yep. Okay. Yep. See, I like, like right now, maybe it's the lights too, because you know I'm all about the phobia blue, right? Yeah, right. That's my alter ego. Go to phobiatv.com. That's F-O-B-I-A-T-V.com. What a plug that was. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I like the different uh, illuminating lights here that you have. Maybe that's what's drawing me in. I do like... The, the first studio, yeah. Yeah. it's got that news feel, and then of course I like the. I'm a I'm a T-Mobile. Co man, I'm giving all these companies plugs, man, guys. You <laughs> take, you know, keep that. Don't forget that. Okay. Anyway, the point is that you got that nice, relaxing. It's just chill, right? right. Zenful. I get right. that there. I like this one. I'm just gravitating towards this one. I don't know. Yeah. What do you guys think? Hey, why don't you vote? Hit us up on Facebook, Twitter. YouTube, yeah, all the platforms. Doctor Sean Double O Eight D R S H A W N zero zero eight. I was saying O O Eight. People thought it was probably oh, the alphabet. Right, right, right. You know, I was like, no wonder I don't have any followers. <laughs> <laughs> right, but you will because you got a show now. No, I've got some followers, and I got some, and I, I love all your, all my fans and followers. I love your support. Thank you. Keep it coming. Stay on this journey with me. Right. And, okay. st and stay tuned as we as we close it up. Stay tuned for the Dr. Sean's Corner. I, Dr. Sean's Corner. And that's the other thing. What do you guys like? Dr. Sean's Corner? Do you like Out of the Ring with Dr. Sean? Do you like Real Talk with Dr. Sean? Or how about Real Talk in Dr. Sean's Corner? I don't know. I'm playing with these uh, phrases. Right. We got so, time. We got yeah. time. All right. Let us know what you think. We need to hear from you. Jeff, as always, great seeing you, buddy. Thank you.
Thank you.